let's pull it, record on that. There we are. So when you're ready, stand up nice and tall and march on the spot. Is the music okay? Okay, let's take a deep breath in, big stretch, and breathe out, and again, breathe in, and breathe out, one more time, deep breath in, and breathe out, okay, let's start by going from side to side, pulling the elbows into the waist, just keep going, I've got another one arriving, come to see you. the wrong way now, aren't they? Well, I'm going the wrong way. Eight more. Last four. And then two steps to the right, to the left, to the right. If you haven't got much room, just do one step. It doesn't matter. Last time. Heel digs now. Lift your toes. Push the arms forward. You. Push the arms forward. Now we're going to take the arms higher, keep the legs going, just heel digs, crossing the arms over at shoulder height. Eight more. Last four, three, two, arms over the head now, reach. Four. 
Okay, heel to bottom now. Hi, Mary. So we're going to add in an upright row. Lift the elbows, heel to bottom. So try and keep the bottom with your heel. Eight more. And then we're going to kick forward and twist the upper body. So just do a little kick and twist in the opposite direction. Last four. Okay, let's do a little march now. And I want you to come up onto your tiptoes. So lift your heels off the floor, up and down. So I'm just showing you sideways so you can see. And then add in the arms, we're going to reach over the head. Big reach, stretch. Four more. Three. Two. One more now. Let's do a little squat. Bend the knees. Stick your bottom out. And if, you've got, if your back is okay, press the arms forward and pull the elbows into the waist. Press. Go back to the marching. Hopefully you're getting a bit warmer now. Take your feet apart. Transfer the weight and sway. Lift your shoulder to your ears, side to side. Perfect, four more. Now take the arm across and twist. So you're twisting your upper body, keeping the hips forward. Last four. Okay, I'm going to go over the head now. Reach. Big stretch. Last four. Toe tap together, side to side with the feet. Add in the arms, pull. more. 
lift, two, three, up for three now. One, two, three, bring it down. One, two, three, bring it down. One, two, three, bring it down. One more time. Up for two, we've got four left. We're nearly there, try and hang in there. Three. Last two. One more time. And rest. Well done. Okay, pop your weight on the floor and roll your shoulders back. Okay, going to go on to the legs now. So we're going to do a plie squat. Take your legs nice and wide with your toes pointing out to the side. So we're not going to lean forward, keep your shoulders back. Get ready, bend both knees, plie. So like a ballerina. Okay, now if it's painful for your knees, you can turn your toes forward and just do a normal squat. Okay, so we are going to do a lot of repetitions. When you need to stop and rest, that's fine, have a rest. This is all about torture, this one. Hold it down and do a little pulse. So this is optional. This is really going to make your muscles ache. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring it up. Did you feel that? Keep and be careful with that knee. Singles. Probably best not to do the pulses. Do smaller movements as well. Or don't do it at all if it hurts. I always think that pain is a way of your body telling you not to do something. Yeah? Okay, let's hold it down now, and then we're going to come halfway up, halfway down. So these are called nasties. And you'll see why in a few seconds. Two more. And rest. Ooh! Last set, singles. So if you can't do any more, then just keep your feet moving and march on the spot, okay? You don't have to do them all. Me, I quite like a bit of pain. Don't know about you. I'm not in pain, I'm not working hard enough. Okay, hold it down. When I say pain, I mean muscle pain, not joint pain. Squeeze it. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, give your legs a little shake. So they were plie squats. And they were working the insides of your thighs and the outsides of your thighs, down your front here. Okay, let's get the big weights again now. And we're gonna do bicep curls. So I want you to have your palms facing forward, grip your weights and then keep your elbows into your waist. I'm using fives. Start with the heavy ones if you've got different ones and then change them halfway through if you need to. So legs wide, bend your knees, suck your tummy in, and squeeze your elbows into your waist. Nice straight wrists, singles, lift up and down, up and down. So remember to breathe, you're breathing out on the way up. Two more. Now let's slow it down, up for two, down for two, up for two, down for two. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, four more, breathe out, breathe in, last three, breathe, deep breaths, the more you breathe, the easier it will be, get lots of oxygen in your muscles, that's what you need, ready, up for one, down for three, lift, down, 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 lift, two, three, four, Lift, two, three, one more time. Breathe. Up for three now. One, two, three, slowly down, control. So listen to the beats of the music. One, two, three, take it down. One more. One, two, three, last time, singles. Breathe. We are nearly there. Do one arm at a time if you're struggling. Last four. Three, two, one. Oh, well done. Put those weights down. Watch your back when you put them down. Bend your knees, okay? And then give your shoulders a little roll. Circle them round. And then we're just going to give the arms a little 
stretch now if you press both arms forward and press your shoulders back and then if you can drop your chin to your chest and then take both arms behind your back lift them up but stick your chest out and squeeze your shoulder blades together so remember to breathe don't hold your breath and roll back again so we're just going to make a fist now and then just bring your fists into your shoulders and squeeze as tight as you can. And roll it back, well done. Okay, back onto the legs. Uh-oh, it's lunge time. If you like lunges and you like a bit of torture, hold your weights by your sides. If you hate lunges and they hurt your knees, hold on to something and use the support to help lift you back up, okay? So we're going to do static lunges today. Right leg forward, left leg back. So hold the chair if you need to. Lift your back heel off the floor and then we're going to lower that knee as far as you want to go. So if you can, you're aiming to get all the way down to the floor. If that's too hard, then just go halfway down. Listen to your body, remember. Try and keep your shoulders back so you're not leaning forward. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two more. One more time. And have a little rest. Give your legs a shake. So these are really good for strengthening your legs so you can go up hills and steps and things like that. And get off the floor. So same on the other side, you want your left leg forward, right leg back, lift your back heel, hold on if you need to, and then lower that back knee all the way down. So if it's painful, just go halfway down, or even a quarter, whatever you can manage. Last four. excited. Another set. So we're going to change the speed now. Down for one, up for three. So right leg forward, left leg back. Stand up tall, shoulders back, get ready. Down for one, take it down, up, up and up. Again, down, two, three and four. Two more. Down, two, three, four. One more. Down for three now. One, Two, three, push it back up. One, two, three, push up. Two more. Last time. And rest, give your legs a shake. Are you all enjoying your lunges? <laughs> it's alright, you don't have to lie. <laughs> okay, left leg forward now. Right leg back, lift your back heel, off the floor, shoulders are back, down for one, up for three first. Get ready, off you go. Down, up, up, and up. Again, down, two, three, four, two more. One more. Okay, go down for three beats now. One, two, three, push it up. One, two, Three, push up. Two more. One, two, three. Push. Last time. And rest. Have you had enough lunges? Hands up if you want to do any more. Everybody, hands down. <laughs> okay, let's have a quick drink and then we're going to go back up to the arms again. It's only for your own good, that one, the lunges. When you get old, you can still go up steps, get off the floor. So we're going to do a lateral raise now. If you've got poorly shoulders, don't use any weights. Just do the movement instead, or just very light weights, okay? So I've got one bad shoulder, so I'm going to use a little one on one side, and a bigger one on the other. Nothing heavier than three kilograms. 
don't do massive ones for this one because we're doing a lot because we're doing a lot of reps you don't want to be lifting too heavy so hands down so you want the palms of your hands facing your legs with a slight bend in your elbows okay so get ready legs wide and lift out to the side slowly back down so you're breathing out on the way up on a hard bit breathe out Four more, two beats up, two beats down. Last three, up, two, down, two. Two more, up, two, down, two. One more time. Then up for one, down for three now. Lift up, down, down, and down. Lift up, two, three, four. Two more. One more time. Changing your beat again, up for three beats. One, two, three, control it back down. So you might be feeling it now, if you are, you can always do one arm at a time, remember. Or have a little rest. Last one. Two beats up now, last set. Down and down. Lift up, two, down, two. Six more, up, two, down, two, five, breathe. Deep breaths now, don't, let, uh, don't hold your breath. Four. Last three. Last two, nearly there. Should be feeling it now. If you're not feeling it, you need heavier weights. Oh, yes. Bend your knees, put your waist down. Okay, then just give your shoulders a little roll. Tap your feet from side to side. And then we're just going to stretch the shoulder now. Take your right arm out to the side and then bring it across your chest and then use your left hand to gently just pull that arm into the chest. So hold it above the elbow. Okay? So don't pull it too hard. Just a gentle stretch. Okay, change sides. Left arm out, bring it across. Use your right hand holding above the elbow and just gently pull it to the chest. Keep your feet moving if you can. And then arms behind your back again, lift them up. Stick your chest out. All these little stretches we do in between are really good for the range of movement in your joints, as well as giving you a little bit of a breather before we do the next one. Okay, roll the shoulders back. And then we're going to go on to side leg raises now, and these are working your bottom and your hips. So you can hold on to a chair or whatever you've got if you're a bit wobbly. So feet together, knees together, stand up tall. Hands on your hips or hold on to your chair. Okay, and then we're going to lift the right leg out to the side. So if you lift it too high, you're going to twist. So you want to keep your knees and your hips forward. No twisting. Okay, hold it out now, and then if you can, do a little pulse. So this is really good for joint strength, because you're balancing on one leg, you're strengthening your joints, ankles, knees, and hips. Okay, rest, have a little wiggle. And then change legs now, stand up tall, coming in, left leg, lift and lower. So not too high, remember. Four more. Your supporting leg should be slightly bent so that the kneecap's not locked out, okay? Hold it out and do a pulse. Press. We did quite a lot on the other side. I forgot to count. But I can remember how painful it is, so I'll keep going until I feel it. Okay, rest. Have a wiggle. Okay, round two, a little bit harder. Stand up tall, right leg. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. We've got four more. Three. Two. Now hold that leg out, flex your foot, bend your knee. So you're keeping your leg out, balancing, and squeezing the back of your leg on your right leg. So just bending and straightening. Hold on if you need to, but try and balance if you can. Last two. You should be feeling it in your bottom now. One more and rest. Have a wiggle. Get the feeling back in your 
country. Ready on your left leg, stand up tall, off you go, lift and lower. Last four, three, two, hold that leg out now, flex the foot, bend the knees, squeeze, squeeze, try and balance if you can. Last four, three, two, and one, and rest, have a wiggle. Are you ready for the last set? Okay, so stand up tall, right leg eight times, a little bit easier. Five more, four, three, two, let's hold it out and pulse. These are optional now. Five. And rest. Wiggle. Okay, let's go again. Left leg. Last time this is now. You can do it. Last four. Three. Two. Hold it out now and pulse if you can. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And rest. Have a wiggle. Okay, we're just going to stretch our bottom now, so if you bend your knees, rest your hands on your thighs or your chair, and then stick your bottom up towards the ceiling. Just stretch it out. Okay, bend the knees, pull yourself back up, have a shake, and then we'll have a drink and we'll go back onto the arms. So we're going to do my favourite exercise, Knocked forward raises. I absolutely detest and loathe these. Oops. Sorry, guys, I dropped my phone. So I'm going to use my small weight because I hate this one. You can use up to three kilograms if your shoulders are okay, all right? So legs wide, knees bent, turn in, and we're gonna slightly bend the elbows again, and the palms of your hands are facing your legs, okay? So get ready, lift forward, up for two, and down for two. So again, concentrating on your breathing. If you've got different sets of weights, you can start with the heavy ones and then change them for the lighter ones when you get tired. Perfect, four more. Three. Last two. One more time. And up for one, down for three now. Lift, two, three, and four. Lift, two, three, four. Lift, two, three. One more time. Lift. Up for three now. One, two, three, slowly down. One, two, three, and down. Two more. One, two, three, and down. One more time. And then last set, up for two. I'm just putting my other weight down, my shoulders have to go. So six more if you can. Remember you can do one arm at a time if you want to. Last four, three, nearly there, thank goodness, last two. <laughs> it's the only exercise in the whole world that I really don't like. And rest, well done, put your, put your weights down. So get the shoulders a little roll. And then we're going to go back onto the legs now, and we're going to do squats. So this time you're going to have your feet just slightly wide, about hip distance apart. And this time you're going to lean forward so you're folding your chest onto your thighs, sticking your bottom out, but don't take your bottom any lower than your knees. Okay, if you prefer, you could do sit to stand from your chair, if you prefer. Use your weights if your back's okay. 
So we're not going to do anything with the weights, they're just extra weight to make it harder. So when you're ready, suck your tummy in, chest up, take it down for two. Push up for two. Now you want to keep your feet flat on the floor. So when you go down, don't lift your toes and don't lift your heels. Keep your chest up so your back stays nice and flat and breathe. Three more. Last two. One more. Now let's go down one up three. Change the speed. Down, up, up and up. Down, two, three, four. Down, two, three. One more time. Down for three now. One, two, three. Push up. One, two, three. Push up. Two more. Last time. And then down for two. Last set. Up for two. We're nearly there. Keep your tummy in so you don't hurt your back. Keep breathing now, nearly there. Five to go. Four. Last three. Last two. And one. Oh, well done. Okay, pop your weights on the floor if you're using weights. Watch your back. Give your legs a shake and then we're going to stretch the lower back now. Bend your knees, rest your hands on the thighs and then round your back, suck your tummy in, drop the head, rest your shoulders back. So it's like an angry cat stretch. The wind keeps blowing my phone off the thing. Okay, roll yourself back up and then we're going to pick up our heavy weights and we're going to do side bends, okay? So you can use your big ones for this, it's not too bad this one. Start with the heavies and then change them if you need to halfway through. So legs are wide, bend your knees a little bit and remember to keep your tummy in because you're twisting. So eight on the right first, off you go. Tummy nice and tight, breathe. Last four, three, two, one more, down to the left now, squeeze it, one more, three, two, last one, right side for four now.
lifting off your, off your chair and then we're going to just bend the elbows as much as you can and push back up. Now I've got my feet flat, that makes it easier. If you want to make it harder, you're going to come onto your heels and lift your toes off the floor. You might not want to do that because I've done these for ages. Four more. Three. really mean wasn't it? <laughs> you don't usually do it that slow do we? I'll do the next ones a bit faster. I was meant to speed up but I forgot. <laughs> I don't know what my mother's doing, she's pointing at something. Okay let's get the big weights now. So you can stay seated, stay on your chair, just turn around. I'm going to do a shoulder press. So sit on the edge of your chair, bring your weights up to your shoulders, and you want the palms of your hands facing forward. Check that your wrists are straight, and then we're just going to do a shoulder press. So breathe in, and press over the head. So you want to breathe out as you lift your weights over your head. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Breathe. One more, and rest. Okay, put your weights on the floor again. And then we're gonna go back to dips, a little bit quicker this time. Or you can lift your weights up if you prefer. So slide your bottom up, onto your heels to make it harder, get ready, quick ones. Down, push up, down, push up. We're gonna do 10, seven, six, five, Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, sit back down, stretch the arms forward. Okay, back to your shoulder press. Pick up your weights. Sit on the edge of your chair with your feet flat on the floor. Bring your weights up to your shoulders. Over the head. Six more. Five. Last two. And rest. Okay, put your weights down. And stretch the arms forward. How are we doing? Are you all okay? We've got one more set. Are you ready? We're only going to do eight this time. Now be careful you don't push your chair back and fall off your chair, okay? Like I just nearly did before. Calamity Jane. Get ready. And take it down. Bend. Remember you can just lift your elbows up if you don't want to do the dips. Last three. Two. One. And rest. Sit back down. I really felt those today. We haven't done those for ages, have we? Oh, you're going into the lounge to do your dips, Mum. I see what's going on now. <laughs> okay, last set of shoulder press. Now I'm finding it quite hard with fives now, so I'm going to change to 2.5s. So you sit up tall, feet flat, arms forward, and press over the head. Oh, these feel really light now. <laughs> Six more. Five. Four. Three. Last two. And one. And yes. Well done. Okay, pop your weights down. Give your shoulders a little roll. And then I want you to hold on to the back of your chair and stick your chest out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you haven't got a chair, Put your arms behind your back and stick your chest out. And roll it back. Okay, so the next ones are going to be lying on the floor. If you would still want to carry on and you don't want to lie down, you can stay on your chair and do them if you like. We're going to work the chest. So we're going to do chest press and then we're going to do flies. So if you're sitting on 
a chair, I wouldn't do it with any weights because it's really hard when you're sitting with weights, okay? So if you want to lie down, lie on the floor. If you want to sit, stay on your chair. So you, you want your heavy weights if you're lying down. Chest muscles are big, so you should be able to lift quite heavy. Okay? So when you're ready, lie on your back, feet on the floor, knees bent, and grab your weights. You want your elbows nice and wide, okay? So just rest them on the floor or take them as far back as you can if you're on the chair. Okay, get ready, press forward and back. So you're pressing your weights towards the ceiling. If you're on a chair, you're going to press them forward. So if you're sitting, push them straight out in front of you. Okay, four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, hold your weights up now and turn your hands so the palms of your hands are facing together. Now we're going to open out the arms, down, down, up. And up. So you're opening out the arms as wide as you can. Same on the chair if you're sitting down. Squeezing the muscles in your chest. Four to go. Three. Last two. One more time. Now hold it up again. Turn the palms of your hands forward. Bring your elbows down and then press straight towards the ceiling. If you're sitting on a chair, you're going to press forward. So it's the same position on the chair with your arms, not over your head, pressing front without the weights. I wouldn't use the weights if you're on a chair, it's going to be too much. Okay, hold it up now, turn the hands together and then open out into flies. So just opening and closing the arms. Change sides. 
left shoulder. If you're doing it seated, I would do alter alternate. One on each side. Squeeze. Four more. Three. Last two. One more time. And left. I'm just having a fight with my microphone, hang on. That's it. Squeeze. Who's counting? <laughs> I'm not. Do eight more. Eight. Seven. Perfect. Okay, have a stretch yourself as long as you can. 
Arms over the head. Stretching as tall as you can. And then we're going to come up into a seated position now. And stretch the hamstrings, okay? If you want to, you can sit on a chair if you don't want to go on the floor. In fact, let's all sit on the chair for a change. If you've got one. That'll make a change, won't it? Yeah, step's fine now. Okay, so we're going to do a hamstring stretch first. Take your right leg straight out in front of you. Rest your hands on your left knee and then lean forward and bend as far as you can until you feel a stretch in the back of your leg at the top. So try and keep your leg nice and relaxed. If you can, you can try and get your hands onto the floor to increase the stretch if you can reach. in your hip and your bottom. Oh, Roger, you're looking far too relaxed there now. <laughs> and you, Mary. Okay, come back up and change sides. So if you're not very flexible, just cross your ankles. If you can, get your foot onto your knee. So your left foot on your right knee and then lean forward so you feel the stretch in your bottom and your hip. You do this one while you're watching the telly, can you? Okay, come back up, feet back on the floor, give them a little paddle. Stretching the arms now, put your right hand on your right shoulder and then gently push that elbow back so you feel a stretch in the back of the arm at the top. Shoulder and look around as far as you can. And I want you to pull your right. 
right leg towards your left leg with your left hand. Did you get that? It's even worse for me because I'm actually doing it the opposite way around to what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a good job I'm backwards, isn't it? <laughs> okay, face forward. So now you're going to put your right hand on your left thigh, left hand on the back of the chair, and then look round over your left shoulder. So pull your left leg towards your right leg with your right hand. And then last one, chest stretch. Hold on to the back of your chair. If you haven't got a chair, just put your hands behind your back. Lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together and just take a couple of deep breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Turn me off if 